Guten Tag everybody and welcome to episode 38 of the Trophy Tour and uh, today I'll bring my very first Wolfsburg live com uh, to the channel with uh, none other than Bayern Munich away from home and uh, things are probably not going as expected for the Bavarian team as they're all the way down in 13th position just a point clear of the relegation zone already beaten four times which is a major shock but the team that's running away with it at the moment is unbeaten Borussia Dortmund with a perfect uh, uh, 12 uh, no five wins one draw uh, record they only conceded their first two goals in their previous game and uh, just one thing I should mention uh, a rather hum amusing signing is that Mario Goetze uh, went straight back to Dortmund after a few seasons uh, at Bayern he just didn't seem to be enjoying himself and he's gone straight back to Brutzi Dortmund so I find that hilarious but uh, that so far they are the best team in the league and uh, there's a lot to uh, fear from them but uh, let's talk about ourselves now. Uh, we are currently in sixth, which is great, with three wins, two draws, and the one defeat. We could do better with the goal difference, but uh, things are a little uh, tight, which I'll explain in a moment. But uh, here's a look at our fixtures, uh, starting off with the draw on the opening day against uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach. Um, it was a very difficult game. I'm surprised we ended up uh, winning or winning a point out of it. As uh, Ryan Shawcross scored in both ends, uh, Schmid scored in the third minute, and then they made it 2-1 uh, with a little while to go. But thankfully, uh, Ryan Shawcross uh, got himself uh, redeemed, and uh, that was a very close game, a real scare. But uh, after that, we played dreadfully against Ao uh, FC. I forgot the rest of their name. Uh, Ao. As Gerbage. Yeah, okay, forget it. Um, so we missed a penalty in the seventh minute, courtesy of Josie Altador, and then we had a man sent off, Henrique, and Vestergaard was injured for the last few minutes, so we we're in real trouble, but I don't know how we failed to win that game. Extreme disappointing. Uh, we did better against Kaiser Schlauten, uh, two goals to one. Uh, another goal for a defender in a 1-0 win against, uh, against Hoffenheim. Uh, we lost 2-0 to Leverkusen. Uh, Timo Werner, the uh, the young star, uh, dominated this game really. And we had a man sent off again. So uh, we took a silly risk, uh, but I felt it was necessary. And Timo Werner just scored his uh, second goal of the game to uh, give Leverkusen the points. Um, we beat, uh, we beat uh, Hamburg 2-1 there. Uh, great first half but not so great in the second and then uh, in the cup we played uh, Grother Firth who uh, have my old friend Denis Suarez and uh, we beat his team 3-1 uh, Fabrini and Rupp stole the show there but still no real goals from our strikers as um, we tend to be struggling in that department uh, I'm going to play Velios up top today as he had a good game against uh, Firth uh, Mechmany and um, Josie Altador failed to score for me. Um, my young striker um, down here, the Norwegian lad, where is he? Um, oh, he's on the bench. Farik Gronland, I don't expect too much from him. And then we got a minor injury to my uh, really nice new gen, uh, Andreas Kraus. So uh, he's out for the next game. Uh, other players I should mention... Uh, Alan Niam scored a goal in his debut, which was very pleasing, to say the least. Uh, he got a goal on his full debut and uh, made the difference against Kaiser Schlauten. Um, but he's been okay ever since then. But Wallace, uh, of course, got himself red card and he hasn't been as good. So uh, he needs to uh, book up his ideas. Uh, I didn't mention this guy in the last episode, Branko Pabor. Um, he was uh, very good in his uh, first few games for me. So um, he will be played in centre midfield today alongside Kramer. Uh, Schmid is probably the best player I have at the minute. Absolutely brilliant. He scored six goals in seven games, uh, including three in the league. So uh, what a player. Uh, very underrated. But still, there you go. Plenty of goals to talk about. He got a hat-trick in the cup, and he scored a few goals in the league as well. So uh, great stuff. Uh, Souza and Diaz are competing for the positions at the left midfield. And uh, Souza is winning at the moment. He's got a little bit better of a record in the league but it's a shame that DS is still trying to fit in but uh, there's no real pressure and uh, Moravec is my central midfielder or attacking midfielder and he'll get a go against Bayern Munich today we'll need him to defend as well as he can and uh, just the one injury so we're doing okay in most departments but uh, 
We'll just talk about the transfer window again. Uh, we didn't bring any new players in, but we did let some go, such as uh, Perisic, who uh, got fed up of sitting on the bench already for me, and he's gone to Victoria Pilsen. Uh, unfortunately, he demanded a bit of uh, extra wages to uh, from me to take uh, care of his cut. Uh, so he's basically earning 40 grand a week off us, despite him not playing. And uh, Vaclav Pilar has also gone to the Czech Republic to play for Sparta Prague. So he went for 2 million. So uh, I basically spent about 4 million more than I had uh, sold. But it's not really a bother. I have plenty of money. And uh, we'll just keep on cracking on. So it's going to be a long season, just the league to play. But um, that shouldn't be too much of an issue. Um, but yeah, we'll move on now to the match. I uh, hope I haven't been talking too long. Um, Bayern Munich, definitely it's a uh, transitional period. Uh, Javi Martinez, uh, he's okay. But Lam, Boateng and Neuer are all very old now for footballing standards. So I'm a bit nervous for them. Uh, but uh, They should be hopefully worried about our uh, attacking prowess. But a very unusual 4-1-3-2 formation there with Barini and a very talented uh, Argentinian up top. We'll briefly introduce him. Uh, he's only very young, uh, 24 years old, Giovanni Simeone. So uh, he's an outstanding looking player and he's scored plenty of goals already this season. But uh, how to break down this Bayern Munich team, we'll have to figure it out a way as we generally struggle against Bayern Munich uh, in terms of what the previous managers did. Uh, we're going to make Velios a target man, Sousa, um, Amavriak, I think we'll need to make him um, probably an attacking midfielder support. And Schmid, um, yeah, he's ground being a winner. Um, Pabor, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we'll move on now to the mar man marking. Uh, we want to mark Thiago and uh, probably uh, Tony Kroos. Yes, we need to mark him. He's gone to Real Madrid now in real life. Um, an unusual decision, but it's probably one that makes sense for his career as he wants to do something new. Um, but uh, there you go. We'll have to be very wary of Simeone and Barini. Um, we'll go extra hard on Simeone. And uh, it's time to probably just say, uh, try and get revenge. And uh, that's my favourite team talk, to be honest. Uh, very simple. And uh, I should mention the goalkeeper, Diego Benaglio. He's still very good, despite um, being... 35 years old so we'll keep him firmly in the first team as our other goalkeeping options are pretty weak but now welcome to uh, the Allianz Arena for Bayern Munich against Wolfsburg and it's an early chance for Thiago oh Barini oh he's got the third bite of the cherry and Bayern Munich already take the lead oh that really sucks a terrible terrible start um, so Bayern Munich are all over us at the moment and um, we'll have to think uh, what we can do to get some shots away Thiago interception Thiago um, to Javi Martinez Simeone's in Benaglio saves good goalkeeping and uh, we'll have to try and counter attack it's all Bayern Munich at the minute really really scary seven shots in only eight minutes and uh, this is not what I expected since of course they're struggling in the league but their manager, Jorge Jesus, who you might know from Benfica, has got them going tonight. And here's Thiago, corner kick. Um, cleared. Oh, it's Shawcross with the clearance. Good man. He's been superb alongside Vestergaard. Scoring more goals than my strikers can. But here's Sousa. Can we get the equaliser? No. It's a poor corner. Thiago was able to deal with it. Now we find Henrique. Movariek. Kramer from distance maybe no that's very lackadaisical Neom couldn't commit Pabor couldn't get his touch away Simeone forward Martinez Barini terrible touch from the Italian and uh, we get away with it again long throw misses all the uh, men in white Barini goes out wide and it's saved it's very hard to keep up with this superb passing but Barini is finally caught offside and um, it's all Bayern Munich. It really is not a, s not a single chance to talk about for Wolfsburg. And could this be the doubling, doubling of the lead? No. Right. Uh, change of strategy. Uh, right. Okay. We'll just do that for now. Um, it's not looking good at all. Um, 
can Mavriak play anywhere else? No, I don't think he can. I'd, I would bring... Oh, he can sit in the midfield. That's okay. We'll bring him in here. Uh, we'll make him the advanced playmaker support just to try and shore up the midfield, have a three versus three situation. But, uh, yeah, definitely very stressful moment so far for uh, poor old Wolfsburg conceding early on and uh, not looking good for a goal. But now here's Henrique Pobo the Croatian Sousa breaks he finds Velios and Schmid couldn't do much about it Velios didn't make much of an attempt so my striker and issues remains Nyam couldn't uh, help out Schmid too much but he's won a corner Sousa oh it's pi it's punched away and Alaba to counter attack the left back is well and truly away he hasn't had any challenges but he's forced a corner out of our red uh, De Wolf defence Thiago goes long Pabor clears and I'll uh, just shut my door as we move on again Bayern Munich it's only 20 minutes it's one heck of a game that's for sure our introduction to the Bundesliga faster guard clears Boateng has all day to make a decision and uh, here's Pabor Schmid Mavriak Sousa this is our best chance of the game and he's missed it oh great save Neuer Sousa Schmid Schmid it's got... Oh, how did it not go in? Sousa! Moriak! Cleared at last. And Simeone to counter. An extraordinary game. We have to take our eyes off it to change the strategy. Oh, my days. It's just getting more and more intense. Schmid loses it straight away. Barini. Simeone's offside. It would have been 2-0 and deservingly so. But there you have it. Uh, it's remaining 1-0 Simeone failing to stay on side and this is a very difficult game to keep up with it's going to be a long episode if uh, things stay like this and we are we're already in the 26th minute um, Barini great block Henrique but it's only gone to his uh, opposite number Alaba Schmid commits a foul to uh, probably give us a bit of rest by Thiago and cleared um Right. Do I need to reduce the rate of highlights in future? I really don't know. I wasn't used to this sort of stuff in uh, Turkey. Dortmund again. Mario Götze is scoring. And uh, I'm sure Bayern will live him back. Even though their formation doesn't suit his style of play. As Here's Martinez to Thiago. D'Alessandro. Thiago. He's still going. He's got Barini, but he's offside. Wolfsburg need to create some chances now at ha before half time. We'll go back up to standard. Maybe it's a risk not worth taking, but um, we don't look like scoring today. Um, Dormans take a fourth goal from Frankfurt. It's a poor first half for De Wolf, and we've got to improve immediately. And we need to do a lot better. Velios doesn't look like scoring. Um, he'll have to. He's good at assists. If anything is to go by from our last game. So I'll make him a uh, trek Easter, but it's not not hopeful. South and Schmid being overworked, and uh, no one has put in a really um, major shift. But uh, we're kind of in trouble anyway. But we'll have to do our best. And uh, can we find an unlikely equaliser as the second half begins? Thanks to Simeone and Barini taking the kick off. Good block. At least we have the passion. That's the most important thing. We're desperate to try and do something but even if we can't really apply ourselves Benaglio gets down to his right and saves brilliantly but that's what I'm concerned about as long as we have the dedication to give these guys a game for the 90 minutes uh, we will you know have something to shout about uh, we may need to make a change shortly yeah we definitely do we're in trouble um, we might go attacking for this phase we're up to 7th despite looking like we're beaten and um, hmm, Schmid can't really do much but um, I'm going to take Mavriak off am I hmm. yeah we're going to try and go two up front for the time being just to sort of oh, excuse me yeah we're going to go Mehmedi up front bring the wingers back and uh, try and force a goal with a 4-4-2. So uh, that'll do. Um, fingers crossed that Mehmedi can score a goal to uh, make our season a little bit more positive. But 
Um, we can't really expect too much. This is my gamble. Again, it's big risk. But we have to show these guys some sort of pressure. Thiago out wide to Philippe Lam. Brady. Oh my goodness me. What a save again from Benaglio. And I don't think Barini was expecting that. We've got away with it again. But Mavriek has done his best and it's time for him to come off for Mehmedi. Uh, Henrique, can we at least get it out of a half? We can't. Um, Thiago uh, switches the play to Javi Martinez. Thiago to Alaba. Alaba, lovely dinked ball. Here is Cruz. And D'Alessandro, another brilliant save from Benaglio. It's no wonder he's still getting capped for his native Switzerland. Barini at the near post. Not to be, but now we kind of look disjointed. Maybe we'll bring, um, we'll bring Velios backwards. Make him a deep-lying player. And help out our midfield. Uh, Pabor. Um, make him box-to-box. Box. It doesn't look good that we don't have a link between tack and midfield. That is now changed for the better. But hopefully they don't get a second goal in time. Fabio Barini, Tony Kroos, D'Alessandro Barini again. A, oh, a, a ser searching and sensational pass. I mean, I've a bit lost for words now. But uh, it was a searching pass, a telling pass. But it didn't work out. Leverkusen double their lead. Uh, that's an important result from our point of view. We don't want to lose too much place, uh, too many positions. Bayern Munich have had 20 shots. Oh, we just can't deal with it. Simeone. Great save, Benaglio again. Oh, it's unlucky that he was beaten. Uh, he was finally beaten in only the second minute by a triple shot on goal. We need to make more changes. Um, Shawcross really showing his class here. And um, mm, I think I'll play... Uh, Tribal, he likes to be a box to box player. And um, possibly we'll support uh, the attackers with Yael Diaz. Uh, he can play attacking midfielder. And we'll do that now. We'll have uh, Tribal as a uh, yeah, be the deep line playmaker. And they will keep the guys in their original positions. So we're going 4 1 2 1 2, like I did in Bursa Sport whenever we needed two strikers. But I think we've already lost. It's very, very uh, unlikely that we'll salvage anything from this game unless we try. Uh, that's my ma mantra. Uh, unless the game really is lost. If it was 2 0, I'd defend. But at this stage, I, I, I really would fancy a point at the Allianz Arena. Uh, here we go, our last 15 minutes. Um, can anyone make the impact? Dortmund 6 nil, 6 nil, and uh, we can't even create one last chance. Come on, we need to. Oh, good God, this is dreadful. Uh, route one, uh, pump the ball into the box. Uh, we won't care about that. We won't care about that. Right, we'll have to go route one. Can we get one chance? Sousa already gives it away. That's not a good sign. Vestergaard, Muller, Thomas Muller, I believe that would be, unless he's already retired, but uh, he is only 24 in real life, so at 10 years um, or thereabouts. Simeone, good block. Oh, it's a foul on Shawcross. I was worried the referee was going to give a penalty to put us out of our misery. No, we don't look like we're going to create a chance, unless this is it. This has to be it. Schmid to Velios, Tribal, DS, Mehmedi loses the ball. Bayern Munich looks so comfortable. Simeone, only as far as Vestergaard. Benaglio, oh, couldn't keep it in. Uh, that's a rare mistake from our goalkeeper. He couldn't do much about it. Cleared and wide from Thomas Muller. Uh, is it? Yeah, it is Thomas Muller. Okay, so this is it. Simeone with the last chance. He's put it wide. And what an effort from Wolfsburg, even if we're going to lose. Yeah, there you go. We just can't score. <laughs> we don't have the strikers necessary. They haven't fit my uh, philosophies at the moment. But uh, that was a very impressive result. We nearly could have got an, uh, uh, an unfair draw. But uh, yeah, we we'll have to uh, be sympathetic with the players. And uh, we need to train these strikers. Jose Altador in particular has been poor. And uh, you'd think better since he was much 
uh, more prolific last season. I looked at their stats and thought about it carefully, but I decided not to uh, overthrow my current strikers. So I'm a bit uh, sort of like Jose Mourinho. Um, I need to do something about that department eventually, but I'm still willing to give the players a chance because uh, too many signings would uh, wreck the, uh, you know, the it would wreck the balance and certainly I need to think about buying a new goalkeeper from next season on but at the moment we're fine in that department but uh, definitely concerning that we just cannot score and uh, we seem to lack all sorts of uh, abilities in the midfield as well but we'll start talking about the negatives it's only our second defeat in seven games that's not bad we're only new to the job and uh, we'll have to <clears throat> have to think about it again in future so I hope you enjoyed this episode and uh, I don't know when I'll come back it's only the end of September uh, so maybe the end of November or something I really don't know um, but we're just taking a while to load as uh, FM 14 is now very processor heavy uh, so there we go that's it um, Bayern Munich take the spoils but Borussia Dortmund are the team to look out for we play them very soon I believe so uh, they've already got plus 16 goal difference but 8th uh, position is where we lie, just 2 points clear of the uh, Conquerors, uh, Bayern Munich, uh, Hamburg, Frankfurt and O are in the relegation zone. Uh, so there we go, we play Dortmund in 2 weeks time, um, or 3 weeks time, I'm not too sure. Then Stuttgart, Frankfurt, Hanover, Freiburg and Hertha Berlin. Then we play Hoffenheim in the Cup, with something uh, Wolfsburg have never achieved, which is the uh, DFB uh, Pokal. And uh, that's something I'd like to change while I'm here so um, <clears throat> thank you very much for watching and uh, any questions uh, you can leave them below and uh, I'll just conclude by uh, showing you the uh, leagues where I used to manage and uh, any more detail just let me know and I'll uh, help you out but apart from that thank you very much for watching and we'll speak again soon bye now